And Amanda Foster is standing by. Amanda? I'm here with our Gateman Baseball Network player of the game, Grant Hussey. And Grant, you had that massive home run as you were coming around the plate and crossing the plate. I saw you had a big smile on your face. What was going through your head? Baseball's fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, when, when you're going through a good stretch, it's the best thing you could do. Oh, and you hit a double earlier in the game as well. Did you adjust anything in your swing at either of the times that you went up to the plate and got a hit? Uh, no, I'm just seeing the ball pretty well right now. Um, like I said, when, when you're going good, everything comes easy. So, uh, yeah. And the team, what is it about this team that allows you to come back again when you're down almost the whole game and then come back and have these explosive innings? The team's pretty gritty. Uh, everybody's bonded pretty well in these last like week or so. So uh, team chemistry is really good. And um, we all just want to win. Well, I got to say, the last time we talked, you weren't necessarily as talkative and, and expressive. What's changed for you since being in Wareham? Just getting more comfortable. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Guys. Thank you, Amanda. Your final score here today, 8-6. to six. Wareham scores six of them in the last two frames off of four hits. A loud swing by Grant Hussey. A big-time double the at-bat before by Nick McLean, and Aiden, this lineup continues to do its job. They were held in check for really the first six innings of this game, but did not quit. No, and I think that's the best thing about this team is twice now they've been down. They've been down four runs today, five runs against Bourne. Twice they've been down big numbers, and they just don't die. You know, they lose. If they lose it, they lose. You know, they've had some bad losses. Okay, it happens. But I think they've also had... The wins have been so wonderful, and especially those two. This is... Something has clicked with this team, and I would argue right now they're the hottest team in the league. Yeah. Um, coming, coming, coming off an off day, you mentioned. Worst possible time to have an off day. You've gotten points in four conse consecutive games. You've won three straight at home. Worst possible time to have an off day. It looked like that the first couple of innings, and something just clicked. The dudes started hitting when they get deep into the bullpen. Usually something happens, and Grant Hussey with ice in his veins just puts one out in right field, a majestic shot, and uh, and now, I mean, they got a tough schedule coming up this weekend. I'll take this team against that schedule any day. You beat YD, you beat Katuit two first place teams in this most recent stretch. You played neck and neck on the road with Hyannis. Any given day in this league, and, and Aiden, we talked about how the offense has come alive at home, now seven and two at Spillane Field. The pitching staff today, three unearned runs in the first inning. Eikhoff with a little bit of a shaky start, but he gets you through four and two thirds innings and gets you to the bullpen in a good spot. Yeah, Eikhoff did a job, Chance did a job, Will Coger comes in at the end, he does a job. This is a gr this is a bullpen that's gritty, you know they they get it, and uh, I'm I'm impressed. I was impressed by Ikoff. You know, first two innings couldn't have gone worse for him, giving up those runs early. I'm sure that's not something he's necessarily used to, but he just finished right three innings, turned it around, and that's the kind of start you want from your guys because you got to be able to trust the offense. And that's exactly what he did. He said, you know what? The offense can get me those runs. I just got to get us through a couple more innings scoreless. And that's exactly what he did. And this is going to be a fun season series. You can tell. One more at their place, one more at ours. I like this. I like this season series a lot. This is one of those, you know, maybe like Bourne that's going to be really fun matchups every single time coming right down to the, la to the last frame. The Gatemen have recently lost four pitchers who pitched over 45 innings for them. And Mark Manfredi, Coleman Picard, Lucas Malstead, Danny Frontera, all four of them combined gave up eight or nine earned runs on the year, less than 10. You've got to replace those guys who have thrown a bulk of the innings for you. you got Daquila stepping up, Coker stepping up, Eikhoff in his first start today, as you mentioned. The pitching staff is not going to be the front line of this game in the game recap. It's going to be Hussey's home run, as it should be, <laughs> but they keep them in this game. And also a lot of team at-bats late in the game, too. A lot of guys taking ball fours, moving the line, being patient at the plate. And baseball's a, a great game. I say it a lot, probably say it too much. You can't run out the clock on a team that's down. 
you still got to get the same number of outs as if you were losing versus if you were winning. And the Gateman played to the final out today and pull out a big win over the YD Red Sox. Your final score here today, 8-6, to six, a big comeback win. The Gateman scores six runs in the last two trips to the plate. Will Koger picks up the win. Jackson Roberts picks up the loss. Harwich tomorrow should be an interesting battle, depending on what they do today. They They're could done. Be they lost. Well, they're losing 8-3 to three in the top of the ninth, so we won't get ahead of that, but looks like the Hawks are going to take that one. So it looks like YD is going to stay in first place, but Harwich just one point behind. It's going to be a fun matchup tomorrow, our first trip to White House Field. First pitch at 6.30. We'll see you on the pregame show at 6.15. It's been a presentation of the Gateman Baseball Network. A lot of thank yous to the folks downstairs, Wareham Community Television, producer Braden Shank and Rachel Manning, my broadcast partner, Aiden Blank. Once again, final score, 8-6. to six. See you tomorrow versus the Harwich Mariners. You've been watching Wareham Gateman Baseball on D1Baseball.com, Wareham Community Television, and the Gateman Baseball Network. We'll see you tomorrow. A big win tonight for the Wareham Gateman.